Hi, this is Pam from Heart of Texas Studio, and I want to show a Halloween album that I just finished, a little out of season, but it was so cute. I'd started it a while ago, and I just decided I was going to finish it and put the Halloween stuff away for a while and move on. This was a tutorial by Lori Thomas, who is a uh, design team member of Country Craft creations um, you can look it up on Facebook country craft creations scrapbooking and uh, Lori's YouTube is L M S crafty creations and that's where the tutorial will be on YouTube this is um, about a uh, seven and a half by nine album it has uh, lots of flips and flaps and flops and this uh, the cover is I think this paper was um, from Michael's I'm not sure this is a paper studio uh, front and this is just a embossed piece of paper from a, I embossed it with a spider web or cracked glass um, most of these stickers, I'm not sure where they came from, but just in my stuff. And the back is just part of the paper. It opens up, and it has kind of like, I guess, a gatefold, just a mini gate, with uh, two small spines, and it opens up to this. Um, this is the front inside covers. Um, place a photo here that's matted and just some fun these I think are Tim Holtz uh, ephemera Halloween that I used and some of this was in the paper pad and some of it was just from my own stash and it opens up even wider I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the um, whole thing maybe can see how wide it is it's um, this is a double pocket page and these I cut on the cameo if I can get them out and uh, put the border on there this is some uh, Michaels embossed paper I don't know if you can tell that in the slide and this was just some glitter paper I punched out with a circle punch to make some sparkles on the tabs and these fit uh, yep they really do fit down in here like so same thing this is just part of the paper these are two pockets most of the pages uh, are mirrored but some of them aren't I just don't tend to stay on track and then I'll show you this page this is the inside back uh, again, this is just a photo mat. It's so uh, bigger than I think it's four and a fourth by six and a fourth. This is the magnetic pocket. I'm going to go back in so I won't have to be. You can see things a little closer. Oops, some ribbon that I just tied on here and tied a boat. Bow, not a boat. And washi tape. This is Tim Holtz. Most of it I'm not sure who it's from. This is a. Um, envelope that pops open and it has just a card that you can journal on or put a picture on the back. It's an expanding pocket so you can really get as a gusset on each side so you can get quite a bit in there um, for Halloween and this has a magnet. This is the only magnet in this whole book. The album I guess is so heavy that it, it just supports itself on its own. Um, I'll go back out and show you Oops, now I'll go out and show you the uh, I'm show you the close-ups. This is a belly band where you can stick your um, tags or pictures underneath here, like so, and here. These cards um, are just backed in cardstock, black cardstock, and just glued to the the top of the belly band. This is some Tim Holtz ephemera here that I put on. 
and this <coughs> flips up for a pocket, I mean a flap, it's not a pocket there. And it's basically it's the same thing, it's just some Tim Holtz punches, word punches, or die cuts, and ribbon, um, some spider from somewhere. These are the two pockets on uh, this side. This is the Tim Holtz scary, gnarly tree edge punch. Uh, these have, this also is the drippy goo uh, punch that I think Martha Stewart that's been around for a thousand years. And then I just, again, cut this on my cameo and just put some washi tape just to add a little decoration to it. And and again, a circle punch of glitter paper. The same as on this side. It's just the same thing with the tree. Um, this is about a four and a half or five by six, probably, that you can slip. There's a little room to slip a picture under there. And then this opens up into a folio type, and there. And this side. We'll just do one side at a time so we can see this. This again is the um, just a flap. These flaps open in and out. This is some of the uh, spider or cracked glass paper, or not paper, it's the embossing folder that I embossed the, and just put it on there and use the stub corner punch. These are just some random stickers I had, and I used uh, the, uh, what is that, the, this pen that you, sparkle pen, what's it called, Wink of Stella, that's what it was, and I used the clear and the black, and uh, cleared those. This is a card that has a pocket page, and these are just cards that are journaled in the back. This was one... I made another paper bag album, and this was a mistake on the width, and so I just attached it to the card. You can see it has a border punch, corner of border punch there, and it just sticks down in here. And this is how this opens up to each side. Um, this has, whoops, this has a... Um, the scary tree or gnarly tree and just one of their four by six cut aparts and you can put a picture in here. Uh, this is the bottom of the pocket page on this side and it has a, a spider web that I punched with uh, fun foam from a, I think it's an old quick cuts die and just a spider. And again, the just the, the pocket tab or pocket tag, and then this is some embossed of the embossed uh, cardstock. This was spider webs, and oops, on this side is another pocket tag. Oh, we did that. So this is the other side, it just kind of mirrors, and uh, again the same spider web over here and. The good thing about the fun foam is that you can use it and it's not uh, thick enough. It kind of squashes down so it doesn't add a lot of bulk. These are some uh, Brad blings and it's just a strip of like these jewels that come in. Somebody I think in a swap that we did with Country Craft with Tamara and I got these and just cut them up and put them because it looked her not shiny really, they're just more like metal, um, kind of looking jewels. That side closes up like this. We'll just go down one side and then we'll go down the other side. This is the back pocket. Oh, and I forgot that I put, uh, I think this is Tim Holtz washi tape down the spine of this. And this is the back flap. Um, this is his ephemera, um, just some stuff I had. This is a bat that's punched out of fun foam and this is a, just a 
card, you can add a photo just plain on the back and uh, a stopper down here. This flap flips up and uh, it has a Sizzix, <coughs> an old Sizzix border punch that I used to do that one. And then again, the, uh, whoops, cameras, this is going crazy. The uh, Tim Holtz ephemera. These are just some various stickers that I mounted these on chipboard. Uh, he's pop dotted up and has some glitter. Uh, uh, the drippy goo punch here again and another uh, tag that has some uh, crows for the across that and this is a three or four page like folio some it does have some magnets there's three magnets in here this magnet to keep it closed which I don't think I'd really need it but it just looks cute this is a border punch that I've had I think it's Martha Stewart uh, and card from the the four by six in the cut apart thing. Again, the spider webs. This I just left plain, so you can can embellish it however you want. This one is um, just a postage stamp uh, mat that I cut out. The toil and trouble was a Tim Holtz die cut, and this is from a, the picture frame maker. We are memory keepers. It's the negative part of it that's used when you make this. It leaves the, it makes the, I don't think I have any, yeah. It originally, this is not the shape, but they come in different shapes. And uh, this is what I used for some mats, for fun photo mats. A cat was just in my stuff. Again, these are um, bats from Fun Foam. These are uh, a photo frame from the, picture the frame maker the we are memory keepers love that and a tag from just my stash this is my um, bottle page this has another it's the postage stamp mat again and these were all I think they're in the four by six in the cut aparts and this was just one cut apart that I made a pocket out of. This is Tim Holtz pediments um, and I just made it into a shelf so it would sit up there. These are glued down but you can still get a picture in here. I backed them on black cardstock um, and then uh, glued wrapped jute around it. Let me see if you can see in a little more. Too much stuff over here on the side. Um, this has did over, over the whole thing with glossy accents um, and this one I did with crackle glossy accents and my it looks really awesome but my crackle glossy accents was old and it I had been still doing that it just didn't come out and dry well and then I just took some jute string and wrapped put some of the art glitter glue on and then wrap the, the twine around it and painted the tops with uh, the Wink of Stella. This has a little bit of Wink of Stella on the, the title so you just can't see it very well. And this is a scary house. Uh, Tim Holtz, I think. Uh, this is something that I had some um, washi tape to the Tim Holtz Sparkly and I don't, I don't know whose this is. This is mounted on chipboard. This is the the windows. I took just some backing from a stamp or something and and put alcohol ink on it and some Winkostella and just glued it behind the windows so that it would look like candles burning. And this is a sticker from something. And this one is uh, really close. This is the Man in the Moon. This is Tim Holtz ephemera here. It's a border punch by Martha Stewart. Love it. It's got the little bats on it. I run these through my Xyron or my creative station or whatever it's called and just put them down. Um, washi tape 
uh, I don't know. This is just a plain photo mat. Uh, most of these you can get four by six pictures on really easily. This is the last page in this side of it. And uh, I did the negative of the frame punch, which I used back here as a mat, and just ran some washi tape around it. This is uh, Tim Holtz ephemera, just this uh, Halloween and witches, and I glued the 31 on top of it, so I stacked. And it's it's not mounted on anything, it's just there. This is a dimensional ghost that's in my stash, and you can see it going back. I like my bottles, I think they turned out really cute, I guess I should take that out of there. And uh, the mats can slip in, I forgot that. You can put the photos in here and here so it's not glued down. Uh, this one you can get under the cat, I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you may have to work a little bit. You can get under the cat and then this page. And that's, again, you can see this one. Really didn't take long at all to make. Her instructions were awesome. It was easy to do. Uses a lot of paper, but it was fun. Uh, and I I like doing Halloween, so this was fun to do. I like the tags, the big tags, because everybody has a lot of pictures. And, and this was his ephemera, I can't see it, it's down there in the pockets. I was going to go punch the, the part out for a little grabbing thing, but the tags was, were so big I didn't think it really needed it. And again, the cards on the pocket. Um, and then this closes up like this for the belly band and the beware and this. I did ink around everything. And then this is the magnet that, oops, whoops, come on, there, that holds that. And this is this side. Uh, these are some spiders that were in this in the paper collection. I still have a lot of paper left, so it it uh, was a good paper uh, pack. And I, I think I got it this year. I may have had it. Again, this is the uh, envelope that you can put other stuff in. This is a four and a fourth by six and a fourth uh, just photo mat. And again, the belly band. And so pretty much the same. There's the wicked with the same thing. And this is the tree. Um, that uh, the border punch is kind of cool. I did. I ran this through the creative station too, so I didn't have to. Make the the drippy glue punch. I just put an eighth of an inch of score tape across the top, and then used the art glitter glue and just dotted it on all the little gooey things down and it stuck really well. This is the uh, flaps that open, pocket page again with the same thing, the uh, tags that are backed. And I used this punch right here, let me see if I can find it, um, I'd forgotten I used it. This is the, um, whoops, it's a Tim Holtz circle, half circle punch. So when you're making <coughs> tabs, tags, if you want to just punch a tag, oh, I can't even talk, punch a circle, a half circle, you can just put it in and I turn mine over to see that I'm up at the edge of the paper and you just punch and it cuts out. Half of it, and I think it's just called originally a half circle punch. So, and uh, then this is the same thing. It has the spider or the yikes and a skull and eek on that side. The inside again is pretty much a mural. This is the cat um, die punch from Tim Holtz. The fence punch the eek and the, the washi tape and then the trick-or-treat and the chilling were I don't I don't know oh I think that's some of his ephemera tags so and this one is the same thing over here scream and 
washi tape and uh, this washi tape doesn't like to stick to this um, embossed paper so you have to kind of go back and glue it down and again I ran this through the creative stations or Xyron thing and stuck it on so that it would be not coming up anytime soon this is uh, again with the the I call them brads because I don't really know what, they're not brads they're jewels but they look like studs that's the word I'm looking for um, across here and across here and uh, the uh, spiderweb border or punch that also ran through the Xyron and the two crows that are Tim Holtz uh, die punch crows with some uh, Elizabeth Crafts little these little things that you get when you make cards. I don't make cards so but I use them for eyes because they're different sizes. They sparkle. And then this is again is the puck the uh, belly band with a card that's mounted on the back. You can use it for uh, journaling or a picture, a bat. I think this was Tim Holtz. These are all mounted on cardstock and a pumpkin for a stopper and it was in something I had. This is the top page um, with the ghost. It's a die punch. I think it's Sizzix. Um, again, that Sizzix, the long die punch. We use it in the AccuCut machine. Some embossed paper and this is one of Tim Holtz. These are Tim Holtz and a sticker from somewhere and this closes up and then again the <coughs> excuse me the washi tape here <coughs> and the uh, the flap and this is the fence with the old crone <coughs> and the bat um, this was something in the Tim Holtz same thing, these are the photo sleeves that are over here. <coughs> Allergies in Texas are not fun. Anyway, this is the photo sleeve and the photo sleeve. Sorry. And some bats. This again is the the bottle page. And you can stick. These are just glued about halfway down. So you can stick that. I did cut them out on uh, blank cardstock. So and and putting the glossy accents over them makes them even stronger and ran some uh, jute around that. This is a, the pediment and I just kind of, you really can't tell, shaded it a little bit. Again, this is the house with a skull. It's kind of a shaker box thing, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's just that. Um, again, with the, the acetate and some alcohol ink in I don't know, yellow or gold, and then uh, the Wink of Stella and a photo mat. And this is just glued down so you can get pictures, not glued down so you can get pictures under it. This is the uh, negative part of the photo mat, again with uh, a spider web and some s uh, skeleton and leaves and candy corn. I just use Wink of Stella on those and glued them down. These are mounted on chipboard and uh, put up there. This is the last of the inside pages which is this is the drippy goo punch and uh, happy Halloween so you can put small pictures there and that's it. Just wanted to share with you how fun it is to make this. It, it took me longer than it should because I'd work on it and put it up uh, and I like to just make the bases of the albums when I travel and then when I'm home and can spread all my stuff out. I like to put them together with do the decorating and embellishing. But look at her YouTube. It's easy to make. Um, I think hers is the fall album with some, I think, authentic paper. It's a cute, cute instruction. And again, this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.